everyone, thank you for watching. And today we're going to be breaking down uh, Kendrick Lamar, who's been very, very good to us. Uh, the lyrics from King Kunta, and I want to discuss this song in total, you know, in total, because I found it to be very, very interesting. And I have to admit that Kendrick Lamar has fascinated me because I am seeing different phases of him and different looks of him. I want to share that today when I break it down clinically. Here we go. Um, usually in the last several ones that we did, we've done three so far, I really focused on the lyrics and the meaning of the lyrics and also the video itself. And I watched the video for King Kunta multiple times and it's a very, very different video than the rest of the album. And I want to kind of clarify that and I want to go over it from the clinical aspect that I saw how it was presented. Number one, to me, it's a very clean look uh, as compared to his prior videos that I had seen, all again on to Pimp a Butterfly. This one was very, very clean and it's when I say like the colors, the, 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 the sense of grittiness, very clean, very bright, very airy. And to me, a massive contrast between I, you, and All Right, which we actually had covered here so far. Very, very bright colors in this particular video. Very, very bright. He's wearing a jacket over the white t-shirt. Little complaint about that, I have to say personally, because it's a Patriots uh, jersey, you know, it's a Patriots, you know, jacket, and I'm a Jet fan, so I'll let that slide. Um, no grays or blacks like in the other videos, but very bright whites and very bright blues. Lots of standard shots in this video. Um, dancing, the cars, the pretty girls, uh, the crowd scenes. There was a little bit of talk of suicide at the end, and he has a lyric where he says, everybody's suicidal, don't even need my help. But overall, this album, then I'm sorry, it's not this album, but this song is a very, very different vibe to it. Um, a different kind of energy, very, very upbeat, very, very upbeat, very, very upbeat. Um, he also makes a reference because in the actual song itself, there was a comment of, I can dig rapping, but a rapper with a ghostwriter. Now, Kendrick Lamar actually was himself a ghostwriter before he actually started doing his own music. And what is a ghostwriter is rappers would use people to write lyrics for them. And he used to be one, but he made a comment in an interview. He says, you have to stand behind your work. You have to be basically your own person. So he went from basically being a backup writer or a lyricist to his own material. You know, it's interesting because the album forced me to look back and comprehend all the differences I see now in it. Very bright, upbeat, fun and bouncy, breezy, very happy. This is, a, this is Kendrick in a different context. He's not feeling the, the weight of the world, so to speak, on him as he was in other songs. Now, it's interesting to me because I did some looking over the uh, album itself. To Pimp a Butterfly actually was going to be called Two. T.U. Pimp a Caterpillar, and that was actually in reference to Tupac Shakur, who was killed about 20 years ago, and the two, the T.U. was homage to Tupac, which I didn't realize. Now, I also curious why came out that lyrics of King Kunta, and King Kunta, as he said in another interview, is concerned with the history of negative stereotypes that all African Americans have to face and reconcile with, particularly males and he wanted to get that point across. It also refers to, and I'm old enough to remember this, Kunta Kinte, which is a character from a 1976 miniseries called Roots, which is a landmark show that captured America. That was when we had a thing called miniseries on TV. Ask your grandparents, don't know about this. And um, we're talking about this kind of stuff. Kunta Kinte was a slave. And for a long time, it's faded now in uh, popular culture, but if you would say, what are you, I'm a Kunta Kinte, Everyone knew that reference meant that you were a slave, that you were like working like a dog. So you don't hear that anymore, but Kunta Kinte for about 10, 15 years was a very popular ex a slang expression in American culture. Now, another point also about this, to me, it's a sign of growth and confidence that you can go from a single line of suicide to whole songs talking about it. At the same time also, what really, I had to think back and just kind of sit back watching the video multiple times as I do, is I thought for a second that King Kunta was on a different album. And I didn't realize that the Pimp a Butterfly, there's 15 tracks on it, all of these songs are actually included. I, you, all right, and King Kunta is on this album as well. I didn't realize the, the variety that he had. What's interesting is that sometimes you'll notice when you're working with, not working, when you're listening to musicians and different artists, they'll have different periods and they mature, or they want to try different genres as they get comfortable with themselves. 
And you see this with any kind of popular group, even with painters, musicians, athletes. They get into like different phases of their career as they get confident in who they are and what they're doing. I kind of give Kendrick credit because the variety and scope on this album is to me impressive. That he can go from one type of video to another type of video on the same album. I, I initially had thought, okay, King Conte might be on his first album, second album. I didn't think it would be on the third album. And they're all included, and we're going to cover more of those songs. But it's interesting to me that he had the confidence to go from one to the other to the other to the other. And that takes confidence in yourself. And it's interesting for such a young guy that he seems to have that, at least on the surface. And that's what I want to kind of share with the audience today and looking at the lyrics, which I'm not so much focusing on today, is the growth of someone. You have to have confidence in yourself to take chances. Otherwise, what you do is you start doing stuff and it becomes stale, it becomes the same, it becomes numbing, it becomes boring. And to see Kendrick taking chances, so to speak, and looking at different aspects of his personality on the same album is a credit to him and to what he's trying to accomplish in looking at the varieties of African-American life and using rap as a way to make that happen. And that's an impressive piece on him. Now, it's interesting, again, is that most of the people in the video are, again, people that he knew from Compton. And you get the sense of that these are people, these are locals that he knew that he grew up with. You know, it's interesting also, at the same time, it forced me to look at him differently and to realize that artists are like people and they need to grow and grow in different directions. And that's something that we often talk about, but we don't often do. That, do you like to be challenged? You challenge yourself. And Kendrick is at least doing that for me because when I'm looking at his videos now I realize I don't know what I'm going to get and that's what makes him interesting to me because it's not the same the same the same the same it's not that same variety I like him edgier I like those songs all right I and you this is a different kind of song for me but it speaks to the confidence that he has in himself and he's doing that for me by challenging me to like him at a different level and he's doing that not just for me, but also for himself to keep his music fresh and interesting. I noticed that still, that underneath that Patriots uh, jacket, you still see that white t-shirt. And, and I get that sense again, like this, how he has to carry himself like above the crowd, so to speak. And let me clarify this also. You have to grow. You, you have to take chances. One of the things that happened to me this week, and I share this a lot uh, with people as I'm getting older, is I'm realizing that I'm around people a lot of times that are comfortable with the baseline. They hit a baseline and they're good. They, you can't get more out of them. Whether it's earning a certain amount of money, whether it's challenging yourself in a different direction, whether it's you know looking at things differently. Kendrick, in his music, is a challenger, is a game breaker, is trying to push things, push the envelope. Whether you love the song or don't love the song, I like, like I said, I like him on a grittier level. I find those songs more appealing because that's the kind of music I'm drawn to. I still am impressed with the fact that it's all from the same album. And in a sense, he was stretching himself with his producer to look at different facets of himself musically, emotionally, and in a sense, mentally. That's a credit to him. So often with the people that I assess and I work with, they're comfortable, they're comfortable, they're comfortable. And it's like working with zombies. It's like talking to zombies. And as I'm getting older, I find I have less people to talk to because they tend to do things the same, the same, the same, and I lose interest. I don't have that same passion because they're not pushing themselves. And to hear what he's trying to do here by taking examples from someone he admired, obviously himself, Tupac, uh, to take information from a miniseries almost 45, 50 years ago, um, the series Roots, he's pushing himself. When you push yourself, you may fail, but at least you can say, I tried. I tried to break out of the mold. One of the things that drives me crazy working with kids and working with really anyone, you know, before 70, at the 70, you're kind of getting there ancient, a little bit hard to make things happen, is the fear of taking a chance and being ridiculed. Like, oh, you suck, you're stupid, you're dumb. What are you doing that for? Stay safe. Don't do it. And it drives me crazy because a lot of times I'll talk to kids and I'll say to them, hey, why don't you try this? Why don't you? Well, I'm afraid. I'm nervous. 
here, I just heard about it today, a kid I had worked with, he was killed. And uh, he was shot two weeks ago and was killed here in Las Vegas. I've been to plenty of those kinds of funerals. You know, they're depressing to me. You know, because kids get locked into that same mindset and you're working with kids that are involved with drugs, alcohol, gangs, uh, street pressure, pressure from negative peers. It, it, it's so empty, it's so meaningless, but it claims so many lives. And people say to me often all the time, like, what do you work with this population? You know, why don't they get better? Why don't they improve? Well, it's a simplistic answer to a very complex problem. The answer is when you don't have any feeling of, I can change, I can break away from the crowd, it's very, very difficult. How many times have I seen the 40 ounces being poured over? Because metaphorically, you don't see anything in your life that's worth trying to strive for because everything is so negative. That's why I give Kendrick so much credit today because when I'm going over this King Kunta song, you know, it forced me to look at him differently and that makes me grow, and in a sense that makes him grow as an artist. You have to grow, you have to grow. You have to try things. When you work with kids that are so like, you know, oh, have you done this, have you done this, have you done this? It's sad because you realize they haven't done much because they're so locked into change is scary, change is, is frightening. And yes, I get that at times change can be frightening, change can be scary, but you gotta push yourself. You have to, otherwise, Life becomes very closed in, very unpleasant, and you don't want to go forward. That's today's message. That's today's song. We're not going to go into too deeply because there's no point in that. But I wanted to really share this because I thought it was very, very interesting how he came across with the juxtaposition. And I was still, again, impressed with how To Pimp a Butterfly has so many varieties of songs. It challenged me. I hope it challenges you. Keep on listening. Thanks, guys.